getting out of jury duty at six. This is our prize vault. Inside the vault is a fortune in cash. Fabulous prizes and one of television for fun-filled bonus games. You can win a car stereo if you can make music with our music band. Or video cassettes if you're brave enough to go into the sitcom graveyard. And a roll-top desk that hits a real toe-tapping event. All this and a brand new car. Time is the key that will open this vault for one of these lucky couples as they try to break the bank. And now, here is the star of Break the Bank, Gene Redburn. Hello, man. Hi, Amelia. Thank you very much, and welcome to the show that proves that time really is money. Let's not waste any time. Let's meet our two couples. Who are they, Michael Hanks? Well, our returning champions whose winnings total $4,508 are two native Californians. He's a music editor, and she's a sales coordinator. Tim Borquez and Becky Brown, welcome back. And originally from Delaware in Arkansas, he's an attorney, and she's an administrator. Meet Ron and Gail Talmo. Okay, welcome one and all. Good luck here on Break the Bank. Now, players, in our game, you're going to be competing for seconds. You earn seconds by answering up to six questions on a variety of subjects. As you can see, the first five questions are worth 5, 10, 20, 40, and 80 seconds each. Now, the sixth question, the biggie, is worth 100 seconds. Each answer is a clue to a puzzle. The couple who solves two puzzles first will win the game and take the seconds they've earned into this prize vault for a chance to collect valuable prizes and an opportunity to break the bank, which today is worth over $21,000. Okay. Now, to make things a little more fun for our home audience, here is their hint to our first puzzle. Okay, contestants, hands on buttons. Jump in whatever you think you know the answer to this question. It's worth five seconds. The Department of Agriculture uses eight grades to indicate its tenderness and tastiness. They are canner, cutter, utility, commercial, standard, good, choice, right. Ron and Gale. Grades is beef. Beef is the answer we're looking for for five seconds. All right, let's put the clue up there. Beef, one clue, and I ask you, do you want to try to solve the puzzle? No, we'll play on. We're going to play on, naturally. Five seconds wouldn't do you much good in the prize ball. Here we go, the 10 second question. The Spanish word for red pepper makes it sound cool rather than what it is. Ron and Gail again. Chili. Chili is a word for 10 seconds. Let's put it up there. We have two clues, beef and chili. I ask you, do you want to try to solve the puzzle and play on for more seconds? Play on. Play on. Here we go. 20 second question. It's some plate, napkin, silverware and food in a basket. Ron and Gail. Picnic. Picnic is the word we're after. <laughs> he took a chance on that, didn't he? All right, we've got beef, chili, picnic, three clues. Now I ask you, do you want to try to solve the puzzle or do you want to try for additional 40 seconds in the prize vault? Go for more time. More time. Becky and Tim, you, you are in the game, aren't you? Yeah. You won all that money yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, I think so. Okay, here we go. This is a 40-second question. It was a kind of gas outlawed after World War I. A kind of plaster used to soothe irritation. A kind of... Tim and Becky. Lie. No, I'm sorry, I'll repeat the whole thing for Ron and Gail. Uh, a kind of green eaten as a vegetable and a kind of flavoring that includes Dijon. What is it? Mustard. Mustard is the word we're all for. We're 40 seconds more for you. All right, now we have beef, chili, picnic, mustard. And I ask you, Ron and Gail, do you want to try to solve the puzzle? Or do you want to play on for an additional 80 seconds in the prize vault? We're going to play on. You are. All right. Here we go. This is one of our first biggies, the 80-second question. Assuming you are at sea level, water will freeze at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. What will it do at 212 degrees Fahrenheit? Jim and Becky. Boil. Boil, you got it. Well, beef, chili, picnic, mustard, boil, and in one fell swoop, you forge the head, 80 seconds or 75 seconds. Now, before you respond, you have a very important decision to make. 
You're in control at this moment. Do you want to uh, solve the puzzle now or risk losing control by trying for an additional 100 seconds in the prize vault? We'll solve the puzzle. You will. All right. What is the solution to this puzzle? Hot dogs? Hot dogs it is. We have earned 80 seconds. Well, that game took a sudden turnaround, didn't it? All right. Now, Tim and Becky are ahead, one round to nothing. We'll be back to see if their opponents, Gail and Ron, can catch up on any time. Break the dance. This is it, the diaper you've been waiting for. I love this. They're fantastic. It keeps babies drier from top to bottom. It keeps them dry all night. Because this totally new diaper has a new blue waist shield. It soft leaks up top like no regular waist diaper can. This is absolutely no comparison. Who makes them? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, oh, my goodness. I think this is the ultimate. Totally new pampers. It keeps babies drier from top to bottom. Why do people take Amtrak's auto train to Florida? Some like the complimentary full-course dinner. Others like our new movie. Some like meeting friends in the piano lounge. And there are those who like a good night's sleep and a continental breakfast. Of course, everyone loves our new fare. Now 20% less than the regular fare. And who can resist our valet parking? Call Amtrak or your travel agent. You know what it's like to wrestle with your matches to change your dust ruffle. Now you don't have to. Presenting the amazing zip-on, zip-off dust ruffle. It's an elegant two-piece item that tops it snugly onto the box spring. Now you can change your dust ruffle as easy as you change your mind. Zip on any of these designer colors. Red, navy blue, pink, white, brown, and beige. Zip-on, zip-off dust ruffles are available in beautiful eyelet in white and beige. Permanent press for easy care. Starting at just $39.95 for solid colors twin size. They're worth the convenience. The zip-on, zip-off dust ruffles come in king, queen, full, and twin sizes with 14, 18, and 21-inch lengths. Here's how to order. Call toll-free 1-800-845-3000. Allow three weeks for delivery. That's 1-800-845-3000. Well, we've got some game going here. They were ahead all the way, and you in one fell swoop, you did it. <laughs> now, uh, Tim and Becky, you have previous winnings of $4,508. You got any idea what you're going to do with the loop? We're going to go to Aruba for our honeymoon. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> Oh, very best wishes to both of you. Now, Ron and Gail, tell us a little bit about yourselves, if you would, please. Uh, <laughs> Who? I'm, a, I'm a paralegal. He's an attorney. And oh. we've worked together for four years. Sounds like a perfect match to me. <laughs> All right. We're not looking for lawbreakers. We're looking for bank breakers here. Keep that in mind. All right. Now, let's uh, begin again with the 5, 10, 20, 40, and 80 second questions. And before we do that, we have a hint for our home audience to make it a little more fun for them to play along. Hands on buttons. Here is the first question, which is worth five seconds. Nanky Poo falls in love with Yum Yum, Ward of Coco, the Lord High Executioner. Coco comes under heavy pressure from Pooh God, the Lord High everything else. In what country is this opera of the Mikado set? Tim and Becky. Japan. Right for five seconds. One clue up there, Japan. Tim and Becky, you want to try to solve the puzzle and play on for more seconds? More seconds. More play on. Here's a 10 second question. Imagine that the four of you are fearless mountain climbers who have decided to conquer the 29,000 feet of Mount Everest. To what mountain chain would you go? Tim and Becky. Himalaya. Himalaya is right. <laughs> Japan. Two clues. I ask you, do you want to try to solve the puzzle? Or play on for more seconds? More seconds. Please. More seconds. Here's the 20 second question. A journey of almost 11,000 miles would await you if you decided to sail across the world's largest ocean. Name it. The Don Gale? The Pacific. Pacific is right for 20 seconds. All right, we've got Japan, Himalayas, and Pacific. And we have really two evenly matched teams here. Each has 95 seconds. Ron and Gail, do you want to try to solve this puzzle for a tie game or play on for more seconds? More, more seconds. seconds. More seconds. 
All right, the 40-second question. The Greek ones were called Titans. Paul Bunyan was one. Uh, Ron and Gale. Giants. Giants, it is, for 40 seconds. Let's lay those clues out. Japan, Himalayas, Pacific, Giants. You want to try to solve the puzzle for a tie game or play on for more seconds here, Ron and Gale? We're going to have to play on. <laughs> We're going to have to play on. Here is the 82nd question. There are currently only seven of them on Earth. Remember, Atlantis is the lost one. Ron and Gale. Continent. Continent it is. You're right. Japan, Himalaya, Pacific, Giant, Continent. Look them over. You want to try to solve the puzzle for a tie game or play on for more in a second. Very important decision here because you're in control at this moment. We're going to try to guess it. You're going to try to guess it. All right, what is your guess? Asia. Asia is not a guess. That's right. All right, now, in order to break the tie and see who wins this round, we'll play one more puzzle, but this time, with no questions, I will simply reveal six clues to the puzzle. And the first team to buzz in and solve the puzzle wins the game and a bonus of 30 seconds. So you'd both be in pretty good shape. Are you ready? Yes. If you're wrong, incident, your opponents will receive all of the clues and the chance to solve the puzzle. Here we go, hands on buttons. Clue number one reads, bridge. Number two is crown. Number three is chair. Number four is doctor. Number five is Ron. Dentist. Dentist it is. You won the game. And you won the prize for 245 seconds. Well done. I well, we want to say goodbye to Tim and Becky. It's a pleasure to meet you. You've got a whole bundle of money waiting for you. Many thanks for being with us, Becky and Tim. There they go. All right, now we'd like you to meet a young lady who's going to be very helpful to our contestants here when they get into the prize hall. Let's all welcome Candace Kuehl. Hi, Candace. They've really done very well. The magic number to open the prize vault for them is 245. Would you do that, please?
tickets now for Cats. Call Telecharge 212-239-6200. Cats, the most exciting musical on Broadway, now and forever. Now at Bamberger's Hoover Sale, save $40 on the deep cleaning Hoover Spirit Power Nozzle Canister with 9.1 amps of power plus five-piece attachment set, just $159.99 at Bamberger's. Just because you're busy doesn't mean you love your family any less. So I pick up this, the new Cooking Good Roaster that's already cooked. We call the flavor home style because it tastes just like you cooked it at home. This big, fully cooked roaster is ready to slice and eat. Or if you want, you can heat it up. Now, you're never too busy to serve a delicious chicken dinner. The new, fully cooked home style roaster from Cooking Good. Available at Walbarn. Put the top in up, the top to two things, the first might be the latest thing. A skinny little muffin that's easy to make, popsicles and nuts of the cake. What a great taste, food is so much fun, they're warm and tasty, on the run. So my favorite makes my favorite taste is great, popsicles and nuts of the cake. Skinny corn, raisin, bread, or blueberry, the muffin, echo, popsicles, the thumbs, the cake. A white, it's America's paradise. Aloha, I'm Ed Hogan, owner of Pleasant Hawaiian Holidays, where we've made paradise affordable. Look at this low price for a wonderful week in Waikiki. It includes rounder bear fare and hotel accommodation. Who says you can't buy happiness? It's just a phone call away. So see your travel agent or call us toll free at 800 to Hawaii. You'll be happier in Hawaii on a Pleasant Hawaiian Holiday. beautiful electric range with tough cleaning oven and digital timing center. Exclusive speed broil broiling system boils foods on both sides at once to seal in natural juices from White Westinghouse. And also in our bank today is this Mazda GLC hatchback with standard features that include a 1.5 meter overhead cam engine and independent rear suspension. Plus it's roomy and fun to drive. From Mazda, back to Gene Rayburn. Okay, welcome back to Mazda. All right, Ryan Gale, I'll tell you what happened here. You're going to pick the prize you want. We'll go there. I'll tell you what to do to win that prize in a bank card. Complete an event. Grab a bank card. Return here. Put it in a slot. Pick another prize. Try again. Get as many bank cards as you can because you never know which will be the one card that might break the bank. Now worth $21,290. You have a total of 245 seconds. Are you ready? Right. Which prize you want to go for first? River rafting. River rafting. Candace, where is river rafting? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. That's the uh, number jumper. Go over there and give it a bang. Do you have any? Three bank cards. Pick them up over here. Put them in the slot. Hey, that was very lucky. You got three cards you haven't even started yet. Now, here's what happens here. Look at all these amazing hats. All these hats belong to famous people. You get one bank card. See if you can name four out of seven. All right. Santa Claus. I fly in once a year. Santa Claus. Let me do the bit first, will you? Um, I rob from the rich and give it to the poor. You must be Robin Hood. You bet I am Robin Hood. I conquered the Delaware and the British. Uh, George Washington. Okay. They're getting harder, aren't they? <laughs> okay. You remember me? Where, where'd everybody go? Davy Crockett. Davy Crockett. Right. Boy, oh, that's it. Grab the bank card. Let's go. Hurry up. What do you want to do? Car stereo. You've got car stereo over here. Now, I'll tell you what we're going to do here. Jerry Robinson here. Hi, Jerry. Our Break the Bank Balladeer. He sings songs about a person, a place, and a thing. Two out of three, and you get a bank card. Go, Jerry. I can sing a song and tell a joke and be a joint for the local folks. I'm a funny man who loves slapstick. And Dean Martin used to be my old sidekick. Jerry Lee Lewis. That's one. I mean, Jerry Lewis. All right, you got one. Go ahead. Come ride with me. I'm long and flowing. That's why folks use me for coming and going. You know I'm a river. So as a last piece, I'm spelled with four eyes. Four All right, that's two. All right, that's two. That's all right, that's two. Let's go. What would you like? Kitchen appliances. Here we go. Kitchen appliances. 
All right. I'll ask you questions about animals. Now, don't answer out loud, okay? Or you instead grab the stuffed animal that answers the question and give us Candace. If you get seven out of ten, you win a bank card. Are you ready? Dumbo was one. The answer is elephant. All right, he's got it. He said, only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> Smokey the bear, that's two. Now, grab the king of the jungle. Don't be afraid of him. All right, you got three. Four more to go. Find the animal that's known as the ship of the desert. That's right. That's a two hump camel there. All right. That's uh, number five. Find the bird. How many you got, Candace? They're very sloppy. Pick up that elephant. Find the bird that can't fly. All right. Hang on to them. That's five. You got two more to go. Find the animal that co-starred with Richard Dreyfuss in Jaws. Find the animal that's known for its wisdom. Seven, that's it. Grab the card. Let's go. Okay. Put that in the slot. What do you want? The little top deck. Is that it? Oh, all right. Let's see what we're going to do. 45 seconds left, Keith. Keith. Keith is going to recreate a scene from a famous movie. Name the movie and win a bank card. I'll help you with some clues. Go ahead. in the rain. 30 seconds left. That's it. That's it. Oh, oh, oh. Come. Sing it in the rain. Give him a chance to dance. Go ahead. What do you want? Tailboat. All right. Hey, how are you doing there? It's both the answers. Four of the seven questions about Humphrey Bogart and get a bank card. All right. Go ahead. Ah, I was married a few times, but the classiest game I ever tied the knot with was Lauren Bacall. Go ahead. Name the film in which I played a nightclub owner named Rick. Uh, Captain Blanca. Yeah, in the Maltese Falcon, and I played a private eye named Sam Bates. Oh, 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 time is out, Ron. But you came very close to getting the proper amount there. Allison, you've completed four events, and you've won a prize for each event, totaling $2,800. All right, Gene, Ron and Gail, here's what you've won. A two-day, one-night trip down the sparkling waters of the American River in the foothills of the High Sierras. It was gourmet meals, professional river guys, and it's from Oars Kovac. Also, the French Revolution in appliances from Bebo. An assortment featuring the Cookmaster Raclette Grill and Broiler for European tabletop entertaining from Bebo. Panasonic Supreme Elite AM FM Stereo Cassette Car Radio with advanced features like electronic tuning and hypertuner from Panasonic Car Audio. Merrillat Oak Modular Shelving System uses kitchen cabinetry with a roll-top desk for a functional work-study area from Merrillat Industries for a grand total of $2,800. Congratulations. All right, they're kissing there, Ron and Gail, you heard him say $2,800 at four events and seven bank cards. One of these bank cards may be the one card that can break the bank. Here it is. I like the 40s and the 50s, and I'm starting to like the 60s, and I know I like the 90s, but I don't like panty lines. That's why I wear underall. I like me in hot pink and purple and acid green and over green, but I don't like me in panty lines, so I wear underall. I like long looks and short looks and long, long short looks, but who looks good in panty lines? So I wear underalls, pantyhose and panties, all in one. I like heels and flats and wedgies and jellies, and I hate help shoes, but not as much as I hate panty lines, which is why I wear... Things are really cooking around here since I got Acme's Double Duty Bakeware. Heat beef goes right from your oven or your microwave straight to your table. It's the same kind you find in department stores. But at Acme, you can save from 30 to 80 percent. This week, this display dish is only 49 cents with Acme's newspaper or circular coupon. And you can get a different piece each week. Save $70 on the entire set. Countryside Bakeware. This is easy to come by as you're nearest Acme. Veterinarians know that puppies have special needs. So before Alpo made their puppy food, they consulted veterinarians nationwide, and the result is Alpo puppy food. With the formula preferred by responding vets, two to one over the leading puppy food. Alpo is more digestible and has the high-quality protein a growing puppy needs. Alpo puppy food. It's the pick of veterinarians and the pick of the litter. 
Hey, hey, pink ruffles. Yeah, I want a surprise, Aaron. What's this? My quickie automatic sponge mop. Huh? Yeah, yeah, you clean up quick with quickie. What? Your dirty hands never touch the water. <laughs> Whoa. Quickie swivel flex dust mop buffs while I dust. Look, Ma, no vacuum cleaner. Quickie Sweet Keeper Broom has its own storage hook. What will Quickie think of next? Clean up quickly. You clean up quick with Quickie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, welcome back. I'd like to take a second here to thank our special guests, Tony Heller, Jerry Robinson, and Keith Ellinger. Thank you, gentlemen. It was Sunday. Now we're going to see if Gail and Ron are holding a lucky card with a code that'll break the bank. You have seven cards, any one of which might break the bank. Now worth twenty-one thousand two hundred and ninety dollars. The bank has an envelope with names on it, and the envelope is a check representing the value of the bank. It'll be yours if you have the winning card. We're all rooting for you. Which card do you want to try first, Gail? All right, put it in there. You got seven to go. Let's see if this one does it. There's the code number, and now here it is. Does she break the bank? All right, go round. All right, there it is. She's got it in the card reader now. Maybe yes, maybe no. no. All right. Now, let's see if this one does it. Before you take the next one, I want to point out you've won prizes already. You're the champ. You've got the right to come back tomorrow. Uh, you've got three bank cards remaining. Here's what I'll do. I'll give you $1,000 for your three cards. Now, think carefully. I may not repeat this all. Uh, this is a sure thing. I'll take 1000 No, no, 1000 No. No? All right, grab a card put it in there. Does it do it? Does that break the bank? No, that doesn't. Ron, does that one break the bank? Good luck, Ron. Here it is. Oh, wait a minute. Last card. Thousand dollars for one card. Look at it. Benjamin Franklin. Ten times. You want it? break the bank, but in our prize vault, you did win $2,800 in prizes. We're adding cash and prizes to our bank, so tomorrow it'll be worth $22,140. We may be inviting you to join us tomorrow. Keep our champions. We'll get another chance to break the bank. In association with Player Entertainment, Door Communications, and Hubbard Broadcasting.